Hey guys and welcome to the channel. Today I'll be showing you how to remove, glue and seal and install a door skin in 8 simple steps. The first step is to remove the door skin. I'll be using an angle grinder with a 36 grit to grind away the edge. Once you start grinding the edge, you will start to see the skin separate. Continue grinding around the entire door, being careful not to over grind. Now to separate the skin, I use a hammer and chisel to get in between the skin and the door shell. I start by wedging my chisel in gently until there is an edge I can grab. I then pull away the skin. Then I do the same for the top. The top is held in by glue from the factory. The only thing left holding the skin to the door is sealer. You should be able to remove the skin by grabbing an edge and pulling. Before test fitting the new skin, I like to remove the old adhesive first. This ensures that the new skin will sit flush with the shell while lining it up. Before fitting up the skin, I like to hang the shell back on the car first. Then I fit up the door skin and clamp it in place, making sure the gaps are even on both sides. Once you're lined up and happy with your gaps, I like to drill 1 8 holes for self tappers usually where the spot welds were. Step 3. Prepping for glue. With the skin all lined up and screwed in, it's time to remove the door. Prepare the skin for glue and sealer. Remove the screws, skin and any other part that may be in the way. Clean any grease or undercoating. Then we'll remove the old seam sealer from the rest of the door. Here, I'm using a wired wheel and a belt sander, and an angle grinder with a roll lock disc. Now I'm scuffing up the paint where the old sealer was. We will give this a quick paint job. Last, let's prep the new skin with 80 grit. This will help the adhesive bond better. This is what it should look like when you finish the prep. You should have bare metal on both sides of the door shell around the entire perimeter and only the inside of the new skin. Now we are almost ready to install the skin. I'll be using SEM's multi-purpose panel adhesive with a work time of 90 minutes and full cure in 24 hours. The adhesive must cover all the bare metal. Any bare metal not protected is prone to rusting. Be sure to apply it thoroughly. Here I'm using my finger to spread the glue. I want to be sure that I cover all the bare metal. Now I'm reapplying the seam sealer to the reinforcements. This will help keep the door from rattling once it's installed. Now it's ready for the skin to be installed. Once you've set it on, make sure that it's sitting correctly around the entire door. If it is, you're ready to install your screws. Before you start hemming your edge, don't forget to add adhesive on the bare metal here. With the door skin and glue installed, it's time to hem the edge. I use a door skin hammer with a hockey puck. 
Start by working the hammer and dolly slowly around the entire door. Do not try and fold the edge over in one shot. It may take a few passes. I'll be using a pneumatic tool for some of the door skin. To be able to use it, the edge only needs to be folded over about 45 degrees. Then it will take care of the rest. For the top edge, I hem over as best I can with a hammer and a block of wood. Then with duckbill vice grips to finish the last bit. Now that the edge is hemmed, we can remove the screws and weld up the holes. This is what it should look like before you let the adhesive cure for 24 hours. A perfect door skin here, no need for any body filler. After the glue has cured, it's time to seam seal. I clean off the excessive glue with an angle grinder and a roll lock wheel. I then feather edge with a mini sander using 180 grit. The final step is to seam seal. Use tape to mask off a quarter inch bead for the seam sealer. The seam sealer that I'm going to be using today is SEM's high build self leveling. I will apply it around the whole door, then spread it evenly. Remove the tape and you're done. And that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.